Children. Dolores, I'm home. She's not here. Where is she? Yes? Where? where? Oh, she took the kids over to a friend's house to spend the night. Where are you? In my room. Did your aunt say when we were having supper? We already had supper. We ate with the children. <coughs> what did you have? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Where is my supper? <laughs> what? Where is my supper? Have you forgotten our conversation at breakfast? <laughs> what conversation? Robert, I told you to eat up town tonight. I don't remember that. I said that I wasn't going to be able to fix supper tonight. I don't remember a single word of that. You were looking right at me when I told you. I said at 5.30 I was going to be fixing the children peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and at 6.30 I was going to take them over to Hannah's to spend the night so they wouldn't be running in and out here while Sarah Nancy was entertaining her date. Sarah Nancy has another date? Yes, thank God. <laughs> that too this morning. Well, if you did, I don't remember. Of course not. You never listen to a word I say. But if I live through this, I'll live through anything. Don't you remember my telling you that at last I had found another day for her after trying desperately for three days? No. Well, I did. Now, let's just hope this one turns out better than the last time. I talked to Sister late this afternoon, and she is just beside herself. You know, suppose, she said, she takes it into her head to insult this day, too. Sister, I said, I refuse <laughs> to get discouraged. I did not get on the two beauty pages of the University of Texas, Texas and the Texas A&M yearbooks on my looks alone. It was on my personality, and that can be acquired, don't you agree? I guess. I wasn't born a conversationalist, you know. I remember being as shy as the next one, but I gritted my teeth and forced myself to converse, and so can Sarah Nancy. Don't you agree, Bob? I guess. Who'd you get her a date with? Well, uh... Felix. Felix who? Felix Roberts. <laughs> That's the best you can do, my God. <laughs> you know, good and well, I've been trying to call him town all week trying to find dates for a poor little thing. And you know, good and well, I had absolutely no luck. And not a one wanted to come over here until I called Felix Robertson. I talked to sister two days ago. I was so depressed and had a frank talk with her. And I explained the situation to her, and she said it was nothing new. She said every time a boy comes around, Sarah and Nancy either won't talk or is very sarcastic. She wants me to have a frank talk with her before Felix gets here and try to help her improve her disposition, and I said I would. But it's not so easy to do, you know. I've been worried about how to talk to her about it all afternoon, and it's almost giving me a sick headache. What about supper? What about your supper? What about it? Well, I forgot to eat up town tonight, and I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Is there anything in the kitchen, Robert? <laughs> I don't know what's in the kitchen. I feel like this is a crisis in my niece's life, and I have no time to worry about what's in the kitchen. And don't you start pouting. I'm not pouting. Yes, you are. I know you very well. Oh, <laughs> God! How much longer is this going on? <laughs> Ever since your niece has gotten here, all you've done is worry. Worry about it. Well, listen, I've been trying to tell you, but... Okay. I spent all afternoon cleaning. Look, you got your jacket on the couch, your shoes on the floor. I'll do that. Okay, here, just take them all out for me. I need to be alone now with Sarah Nancy, anyways. Sarah Nancy? Sarah Nancy? Sarah Nancy, honey, I don't mean to rush you, but your dad is going Well, don't you look pretty. Is that a new dress? What? No. Well, it's new to me. It's very becoming, and it's got a lot of style. That's what I look for first in my clothes. Style. Well, anyways, precious lamb, let me tell you a little bit about the young man that's coming to see you. I don't know if you remember meeting him or not, but he says that he met you at Louise Davis' swim party as you were the only one that didn't want to swim. He's Felix Robinson. And Dolores! Oh, what's the matter, dear? Do, do you remember him? Yeah, I remember him. Well, that's nice. He felt sure you would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, why do you remember him? Because he came.
kept slapping me on the back the entire time and asking me how I was. Well, he's just a sensitive boy. And he's from a lovely family, too. Well, now, Sarah Nancy, as difficult as it is for me to do, I feel that I need to discuss a few things with you before feelings are lost. I think, dear, that you need to be a little more gracious to the young men that come to see you. Now, I'm extremely puzzled why my phone hasn't been rung off the wall since you've been my guest. But I think last night, I was given a clue. Sam and Ned, those two boys that called last week, told their mother that you were extremely hard to converse with. Boys, you know, need someone peppy to talk to. <laughs> now, now, don't you roll your eyes, darling. You know I have your best interest at heart, and I want you to be just as popular as any girl here. But to do that, learn to converse. I just don't know what to say. I know. I know. <laughs> I called your mother and talked to her about this this morning and she said that I always seem to be your trouble. When boys come around you can't think of things to say. So I made a list of topics that we can talk about and go over and memorize before Felix got here so that she would always be sure of making conversation. Right dear? Excuse me. <laughs> Robert? How much longer are you going to be? Why? Because I'm hungry, that's why. Well, can you look in the ice box? <laughs> I looked in the ice box. Well? The ice is all melted. Well, maybe you better run over to the ice house and get a block of ice. I will after I've eaten. I'm hungry. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you just be patient. I won't be much longer. Honey, I'm starved. Honey, I'm starved. <laughs> Practice is off. 
Now, why didn't you get me a date with Arch Leon? I think he's the cute one. Well, he's going steady, honey. I explained that. And who's he going steady with? Alberta Jackson. Is she cute? Oh, I think she's right cute. A little common looking and acting for my taste, though. He sure is cute. Well, Felix Robertson is a lovely boy. Yeah, about as lovely as a warthog. Sarah Nancy. <laughs> what? I think he looks like a warthog. So that's the question I'd like to ask him. <laughs> oh, that's a hog pen warthog. <laughs> Dumb anyways. Who, honey? Boys. Oh, dumb. Just... Dumb and stupid. Uh, where are you going? To bed? Oh, no, man. What is possessing you to say something like that to me? Are you just trying to tease me? You're just trying to tease me. But no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm tired and I'm going to bed. Sarah Nancy, you can't go to bed. You have a young man coming to see you and you need to be gracious. I don't feel like being gracious. I'm going to bed. Sarah Nancy, listen to me. You cannot. Do you want to put me in my grave? The son of one of your mother's dearest friends is coming to see you, and you cannot be so rude as to go to bed and refuse to see him. Sarah Nancy, I beg you to do this. I implore you. Fine. Ask me some questions, then. No, how about you start asking me some questions? Practice this. What church do you attend? That's lovely. <laughs> That's a lovely question to begin with. Now I'll answer a speedless with Methodist. Well, that's a dumb church. <laughs> I think it's a dumb church. It's got no style. We used to be Methodist, but we left it for the Episcopal Church. They don't rant and rave in the Episcopal Church. And they don't rant and rave in the Methodist Church either, honey. Not here. Not in Harrison. They did when I was here. Well, things have changed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you're not supposed to comment when he answers the questions. You're just supposed to sit back and act fascinated and just think everything he has to say is just so interesting. Why? <coughs> because that's how you entertain young men graciously. You make them think you're interested in whatever they have to say. <laughs> what if I'm not? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if you are or not. You're just supposed to make them think that you are. Dolores. What? The children are on the phone. Well, what do they want? They want to talk to you. Well, ask them what they want. They sit here with Sarah and Nancy Ball. <laughs> How did you get on the beauty page at two different schools? <laughs> Honey, that was all my personality. All of my personality. <laughs> Dolores! What? Yes? They said they won't tell me what they want, they only tell you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uncle Robert, did you go to college, St. Dolores? Well, I, I met her the year she graduated. She sure was beautiful. I guess she was. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they said they want their teddy bears, and I said that you would bring them over. They're nine and ten years old. What do they want with teddy bears? But they still sleep with them. You know that. I'm not driving anywhere with two teddy bears for two half-grown children. Worry me. I'm not being difficult. I'm hungry and I'm tired. <laughs> and I've worked hard all day. Well, listen, I haven't had a ball today myself, mister. If I find you something to eat, will you take those teddy bears over to the children? All right. I'll be the laughing stock of the whole town, but I'll do it. How do you get on a beauty page? Uh, well, uh, you have to be pretty to start with, I guess. <laughs> I, I think a committee of some kind comes on campus and looks the girls over and makes recommendations and. I think that, Judge, I, I don't really know. You'll have to ask me on that. Where did you meet Aunt Dolores? At a, at a dance, the, the first time I met her. I asked her out on a date, and after six weeks, I popped the question. What's that? What? Popping the question? 
I asked her to marry me? Oh, I hope no boy ever pops any questions to me. Who's <laughs> going real someday? Who? Some boy, rather. Right? I don't know any boys. You know some boys. Not any that won't pop any questions to me. I opened a can of chili and a can of tamales and sliced some tomatoes. Did I do you? Thanks. If any of the dumb boys I know try popping any questions to me, I'll kick them right in the... What are you talking about? That's him! Okay, let me see, let me see.
Go, Jim. This is Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Uh, <laughs> Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. First and first is Samuel, first and second Kings, first and second Chronicles, Ezra and Nehemiah, Ezra and Nehemiah, Ezra Job, Psalm Proverbs, of course, everyone knows that. Psalm Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Psalms of Psalms of Solomon. Oh, wait, wait, Sarah, Sarah, Nancy. I got this. You don't need help. Girls. No, uh, Ezra and Nehemiah. Esther, Joan, uh, just, no one cares about my little puppets anyways. No one reads those. Let's go to the test. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Luke, John. Uh, Acts, Romans, 1st, 2nd Corinthians. 1st, 2nd Corinthians. There's a love chapter in that, Sammy. We'll read that one later. Uh, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st, uh, 2nd Thessalonians, 1st, First thing in third, John, a Jude and Revelation. Okay, I'm done. How'd I do? I think I'm pretty good. What do you think, Sarah Nancy? Sarah Nancy? Sarah Nancy? We're not playing hide and go see. Sarah Nancy? What's new? Uh, not much, sir. You look well. Well, thank you. It's a new suit. My mom bought me that. It'll, oh, uh, do you know where Sarah Nancy is? Uh, no, no, I don't, son. Well, that's peculiar. See, we are standing here playing a game, and then we're seeing you can name the most books of the Bible. For <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, well, you see, that's just it. Oh, wait, I'll stand, I'll stand right here. <laughs> and then we are seeing you name the most books of the Bible when I turned around and she was gone.
and you walk out on him while he is reading out the books of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I will not ask a single boy over here again until you decide to be gracious. And with the mother that you have, you can most certainly be gracious. <laughs> oh, Robert, thought your feelings for a second there. How are the children? All right. Well, did you tell them to mind Hannah and go to bed whenever she told them to? No. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> because it would have done no good. They were all running around like a bunch of wild Indians. And <laughs> They weren't any more interested in those teddy bears than I was. <laughs> Did I feel it just the question to you, Sarah Nancy? <laughs> no. And if he would have, I would have knocked his head off. What's all this about other questions? I was just telling Sarah Nancy about how we met, and after six weeks, I asked you to marry me. Six weeks? It was three months. We didn't go stay until after our third date. Remember, you asked me to the tea party at your frat house, and you even asked me to wear your fraternity pin, and I said, I didn't think about it. I'm sorry, I forgot my hat. There it is. Felix! <laughs> Isn't this remarkable? <laughs> Sarah Nancy had completely recovered from her headache not five minutes ago, and she was so distressed that you had left, and she was all, Where is Felix? And she told me to call you and ask you to come back over, which I was about to do. It's a real, it's not right. Please be the God. All right, sir. Did Miss Henry tell you that I said all the books of the Bible in under 10 minutes? You know, I sure did. And she was just so impressed. Oh, weren't you, Sarah? You don't believe me. You could tell. No, no, I'm okay, thank you. Well then, how about another game? Oh. That sounds great! <laughs> how about, uh, movie stars? <gasps> movie stars? Wonderful, how do you play? Well, you see, you start... One second, Sarah well, Nancy. You see, you start with, you start... Oh. <laughs> uh, you start with initials like RB. And you try to guess what I'm thinking of. Pretty, pretty Valley? No. Give up? No. <laughs> Any other guesses? You sure it's not Rudy Valley? <laughs> well, I give up. I never can think of anything. Robert? It's not that hard. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, you give up now? No! Well, honey, you can't take all night now. It won't be any fun then. Felix, I think that there should be a time limit. Now do you No! No, no, no! I think that there should be a five-minute time limit, and I think five minutes is almost now. Now do you give up? No! All right. Time is up! <laughs> hey, who is it? Rudolph Valentino. Rudolph. Rudolph You know, imagine. Prison. Now, I could not have thought of that. <laughs> Isn't that a fight of games, Sarah Nancy, honey? Why don't you pick some of this? Ooh, fine. OB. 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 <laughs> My, honey, you picked a hard one there. OB. Can you think of an OB, Robert? No. <laughs> Felix? Uh, no, not yet. Give up. Well, can she give us a clue? Oh, yeah, she can name if it's a man or a woman. Well, Sarah it's a man or a woman. It's a woman. It's a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give up. I do. Robert? Felix, do you give up? Yes, I give up, Sir Nancy. Who is it? It's olive blue. Olive? Oh, you? Olive blue. Who is that? She's a girl from back home. She's not a movie star. No one says she was. What well, goose she's supposed to be a movie star? <laughs> You're a goose yourself. <laughs> what? It's a dumb game anyway. Well then, how about a different game? <gasps> Great! <laughs> how about a popular song? That sounds wonderful, Felix. How do you play that one? Well, you see, you start off with a tune. And then you guys try to guess 
children humming or singing. Okay. Well, doesn't that sound like great fun, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you hum something? Oh, yeah. I can't hum. Well, then whistle something. I can't whistle either. Unfortunate. <laughs> well, I'll go first. All right. No. Thank <laughs> you. 
But it was by being gracious to people. But I'm wet now and worn out. I've done all that I can do. <laughs> I guess so. Do you mind if I listen to the radio? No. What time is it? Almost 10. Well, never mind then. I missed Rudy Valley. That's all right. You can catch him next week. I'll be home by next week. I'm going to go check on the aunt. You going to be all right? I'll be all right. gentlemanly fashion. So don't tell Miss Henry I'm here and I want to apologize. <laughs> Did you tell her? No. She already went to bed. She had a sick headache. Bet you know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> she was pretty, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. You know you don't sing any better than I do. I didn't say I could. Not gonna make it on any beauty pages either, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Say that I would. Don't you care? No. Can't really think of much to talk about, can you? No. Your aunt, she's quite the conversationalist. It's easy to talk when she's around. I guess so. Do you mind if I stay here just a little long, long longer? No. Um, I mean, my, my, I told my mom I'd stay here at least an hour for, um, uh, you can go to bed if you really are tired or I'm, need to. I'm not sleepy. Sleep. Do you, do you want to your, your, look, look at a year, your book with me? Sure. Thank you. 